Whoa, stop Christmas. The RGB's here. Oh yeah. <laughs> This is Jimmy. Oh my goodness. I can't get it out. This is not going to be enough. I'm, I'm sure there's got to be another book in here somewhere. Are you ready? This is the big moment here. This is the big moment. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Don't get that logo, it's bad. Don't get the logo. Ah uh, yes, the K70 just where it belongs, finally. Now first taking a look at the exterior of this keyboard, it's a very sleek keyboard. It's all black, the keys are protruding up from the top. I chose to go with brown switches, but there are other switches as well. On the top of the keyboard, there is a bio switch with a 1, 2, 4, and 8. Underneath there are four leg switches to raise your keyboard, two in the back and two in the front. I'm not quite sure what the two in the front would be used for. I don't think I would ever use the two in the front. I do use the two in the back though. I like mine being elevated a little bit. I like the media keys in the top right corner. You've got your mute and you've got your volume scroll wheel as well as a pause, play, back, forward, and stop buttons. I like where those are placed. They're not in the way, but they're still very accessible. Then your brightness button right here, it goes from off to 30%, 60%, and 100%. Right next to the brightness button, you've got your Windows lock button, which locks Windows keys so when you're in a game, you don't accidentally alt-tab or get yourself killed, you know? Now, I'm not going to go into great detail about this software and what you can do with this keyboard because I think Kyle from Awesome Sauce Network has done a great job for that. And if you want to see a very detailed instructional video that's about 45 minutes long, go over to his channel and watch that video. He goes into way more detail than I'm going to go into this video. What I want to do in this video is just show you the current layout that I'm using and there's something I came up with while I was having fun messing around with the settings. Now when you first get this keyboard, it comes like this. It's all red and then the WASD and the arrow keys are pulsating a white color. And if you go into the edit on their groups, you can see the gradient going from white all the way up to a peaking and then back down. And what that's going to do is it's going to let the red base color underneath shine through when, it's, when the opacity is zero. What I wanted to do is make something simple because I don't like things that are too flashy and too crazy and this is something I can use every day without it giving me a seizure. So what I did was I made the layout all purple and I made the, the WASD and the arrow keys white because I liked that idea and I think the white is a good combo with the purple. It's not just purple and white guys, but it was I did a single key effect so when I type on the keyboard you can see a red to purple gradient so it turns red when I press it and it gradients back into the purple that's the background of the keys so it's a very subtle but shows what you've been typing on and I really like that gradient for the single type it's simple but it gets the job done and it looks awesome in lieu of Christmas guys I made a Christmas tree look at it it's even got snow falling Now this is much cooler in person, I couldn't really capture what's happening on camera very well, but what I did with the Christmas theme was I did a background of green for like a Christmas tree, and then I did lighting here, the first set of lights was blue, second set of lights red, third set of lights yellow. Now what I did in order to make these lights not just stagnant and just be colors on a keyboard was I added this little sparkle one where I, I highlighted all of these and I added all of them to a new group called sparkle so all of the lightings are in this group and what I did with this one was I gave it a slight gradient from green to this a light yellow color so that way the lights kind of pulsate and I don't know if you can see it really well in the camera but the lights, the red, the blue, and the yellow, they're not stagnant solid colors. They are actually slightly flickering, as if they were flickering on a tree. And I think it looks pretty cool in person. It, it looks alright on camera, from what I can tell. And then you can see the layer of snow that's falling from the top. You can turn that off, you don't have to keep that on. I thought it was a little cool thing to 
add-ins are there and it kind of makes the, the tree light up and glimmer. Anyways, Merry Christmas guys, I'm so happy to be playing this keyboard and I'm going to be playing around with this some more. I'm going to try to come up with some awesome themes and then sometime in the future I will show you guys what I've come up with. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.